Thank you. <laughs> I feel good. Amanda have come here today to be joined in marriage. Ryan and Amanda, your marriage is intended to join you in a relationship so intimate and personal it will change your whole being. It offers you the hope and indeed the promise of love that is true and mature. To attain such love, you will have to commit yourself to each other freely and gladly for the sake of richer and deeper life together. Amanda, you could never imagine how much I love you. Even though a million times you've asked me, why do you love me? Or how do you love me? Uh, a million times I had failed to answer that question. To come up with the words required to answer that question. That is because there's no way to put how much I truly love you. So on this day, I vow to respect and honor you. I vow to appreciate the little things you do as much as the big ones. I vow to strive as hard as we continue to build our lives together. I vow to put effort into making you feel as beautiful as you really are and has, as you deserve to be. I vow to enjoy our good days to the fullest and to listen and compromise with you to work through our roughest ones. I vow to cherish you each day as much as the last. I vow to love you. <laughs> Ryan, you are my whole world. You are my home. I vow to you to always love you, even on days that I might not like you. <laughs> I vow to do my best each and every day to make you smile, even when you do not want to. I vow to always try to impress you and grow with and for you. I vow to be loyal and faithful to you. I vow to always hold you in my heart, even when we may not be together. I vow to consult you on choices in life that we should make together. I vow to respect and honor you. With this ring, I do wed. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. And this ring. And this ring. Shall be the symbol of my love. And shall be the symbol of my love. Slip her on. <laughs> With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. And this ring shall be the symbol of my love. And this ring shall be the symbol of my love. Clever. It's up. Yep. <laughs> by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the marriage act, I hereby pronounce you Ryan Curie and Amanda Drake to be husband and wife. Let me kiss your bride. Thing on, you guys hear me? No, no. All right, let's give a round of applause for Ryan Groom. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. So, as you can see, a little nervous, but I'm still going to make it through the speech, okay? So, I met Ryan, like I said, just about five years ago at orientation. We're both uh, paramedics, and uh, we had to sit together for three weeks. Can you imagine that? <laughs> sit with this guy for three weeks. So anyways, you Ryan earned his career nickname when we were there. So there's a bit of a story here. I hope you can brace your seats there, okay? So back, back a long time ago, 
uh, we all decided to go to the lower deck. You guys know the lower deck? Yeah. yeah. So we got a big table, and Ryan, we all get our pints, and Ryan decides to get some wings, and he decides to get mild wings. Waitress brings the wings over, he takes one bite, he starts crying, whimpering. I need milk, I need milk. I was like, come on, man, don't send them back. He gets honey garlic wings. And we just laugh at him, laugh at him. And everybody's hunting for the nickname, and to this day, he's still saved in my phone as Sippy Cup. <laughs> He's a good guy. I love this guy. I love Amanda. They're both amazing. I just wanted to say I met the bride and I knew right away these two were perfect for each other. Amanda keeps him in line. I'm sure we can all agree that. And he keeps her busy with her with his antics and his stubbornness. I know that the best the job of the best man is to get the groom to the altar in one piece, but I can tell you all today that was not an issue. Ryan has loved Amanda since he laid eyes on her in grade 12 chemistry class when she stole this chair. <laughs> I just want to leave you all, Ryan and Amanda, with a toast from the heart. And I really mean that. There is nothing more noble or admirable than watching two incredible people come together as one. In the unity of marriage, as your friends and your family, we delight in your marriage and we offer our encouragement and support. Here is a toast to a long life filled with adventure, love, and cherished moments. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan's sister, Megan. I'm the new in-law and maid of honor and the favorite child. <laughs> and the good looking one. <laughs> First off, let's all give Amanda a round of applause to congratulate her for dealing with Ryan for all these years. <laughs> Although, Amanda's no walk in the park either. That's why they're meant for each other. But no applause for Ryan. He doesn't need that positivity. It will just go straight to his head. <laughs> I don't really remember Amanda's introduction to our lives. I just remember how after a while, there were certain board games that we weren't allowed to play anymore. <laughs> I thought this day would never come. Seriously, never. And yet, shockingly enough, Ryan found himself a great girl. Makes me think, what's wrong with her? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I could stand here and tell you countless stories to validate my statement, but I know you all have plenty of Ryan's stories of your own has thought the same thing before. <laughs> I make jokes, but I'm happy to have you both in my life. Amanda, it's been a pleasure to get to know you, and I'm totally looking forward to many years spent laughing and making memories. Welcome to the family, Amanda Cree. It's too late to run now. <laughs> I wish you luck, happiness, and if you choose to have children, Orion Jr. We're all looking forward to sitting back, relaxing, and watching you pull out what little hair you have left. <laughs> right, Dad? <laughs> Love you both. Cheers. I'd just like to thank everyone for coming to celebrate with Ryan and Amanda. <laughs> Who had the bet? Who won? I knew this was going to happen. Ryan, for all of you that didn't know Ryan in his younger years, Ryan was a special child. <laughs> he was a handful of times. We got our exercise, chasing after him for one thing or another. Ryan learned to count at a very early age. He knew exactly when five minutes were up because of all his timeouts in the corner. <laughs> like one morning after I worked a night shift. Dan was off to work, so I had to look after the kids. I dozed off on the couch for 15, 20 minutes. I woke up. <laughs> and I found they had opened up our second story window and they threw everything out of the house. That could be your hands, your hands on. Books, pillows, toys, 
all over the front lawn. There was always something. At a very young age, Ryan knew what he wanted to be. First, he wanted to be a garbage man. He thought it was awesome to get to ride on the back of the trucks all day and get paid for it. Then it was going to be a minister. He thought it was great that all you had to do was stand in front of a group, speak for an hour, once a week, and get a plate full of cash for doing it. <laughs> so needless to say, when he told of his choice of becoming a paramedic, we we're very proud. <laughs> Where did <Penny> go? <laughs> Okay, you want me to read it? Yeah. All right. I'm going I'm to say what he has on here. It says, Ryan was a bit of a late bloomer. He didn't have a big circle of friends, but then one day he told us that he had made some friends at school. We thought, wow, never thought that was going to happen. <laughs> Must have been a Harry, book, <laughs> Harry Potter book club. <laughs> then we started hearing this Amanda Drake name now and then. Then, I don't, I don't think you... Put, can I just read it? Then we hear they were dating. Then we hear they're dating. We thought must be quite the girl to put up with Ryan. <laughs> and yes, we were right. As we got to know Amanda these past eight years, a little more than eight, you're quite the girl. You don't take Ryan's crap. <laughs> you're very smart, <laughs> funny, and have a heart of gold. You have fit right in with our family from day one. Yeah, but like Megan says, we don't even know when she joined the family because she was just there. And, and she fit in. So congrats to you both. Enjoy the moment. We wish you... <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you were right. I hope you're happy. Lots of love and happiness. And like you said, you were It was really nice that you said you Both and lots of love and happiness. Yeah. We cannot believe our baby girl is now a married woman. Amanda, from a young child, I always knew you would do big things. I couldn't be prouder of you if I tried. You are beautiful inside and out. Ryan, you are one of the kindest, loving people we know. You are definitely every mother's dream for their daughter. Thank you for loving and choosing our daughter. There is not a doubt in my mind that you will always love and protect her. So today, we hand the reins over to you. And on behalf of all of us, we officially welcome you to this crazy family. <laughs> you are a beautiful couple now, and we'll do big things together. The sky is the limit. We love you both dearly, and I am so proud of you both. Ryan, she is a spitfire, and you have got your work cut out for you. But we know that you are the man for the job. Hi, everyone. My name is Aubrey, Amanda's uncle, and the man Ryan most wants to be like when he grows up. <laughs> God knows when that's going to be. <laughs> it's a celebration of love in its most beautiful form, true love. Amanda and Ryan were destined to be together from the moment they met. I remember talking to her on the phone when she was in school about a boy she had met and really liked. I could tell by the emotion in her voice that she was really in love at such a young age. They have stayed strong through their teenage years and into adulthood to be here today to make the most important commitment of their lives. And if anyone can do it, they can. To all of you, you are here because in some big or small way, you have contributed to who and where this beautiful couple are today, be it a small word of encouragement or helping them in some other way to get to this point. Your thoughtfulness has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated, and I'm sure will never be forgotten. Now, if I can give some advice, marriage advice to the newlyweds. I feel I have the credentials to do so, being in love with the same woman for over 40 years and loving her more with every passing day. Now that should get me a cooked dinner for the next few days, right? <laughs> Here it is. Take care of the small things, and the big things will take care of themselves. Ryan, if you get up before her, get her coffee ready. Check the heat to make sure she'll not be cold when she gets up. When she wakes up, leave her a little note if you're out the door before she gets up. If you're home when she gets up, ask her how she slept. Stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Go to her and give her a hug and a quick kiss. It's the little things that matter. That's what life and happiness boils down to, the little things. You look after them, and the big things will look after themselves. 
Ryan started showing up at my house. <laughs> grade not grade nine. Grade nine, I think nine. See, and the thing is, my daughter shows up with the kids because the kids came to my house because that's the kind of house that I had. Base camp. That's right. It's where the the home projects had to happen and the test studying had to happen and oh my god can we just stay overnight because we don't want to go home house and whatever it was <clears throat> and all of them were girls except this guy <laughs> and he walked in the door and all i could think was i don't know what it is but it's got to be special because the ladies, the young ladies that were coming to my house were a very discerning group of young women. And then he <clears throat> went away and then he'd come back every once in a while and you know, I would sit in my kitchen and I'd hear her car roll up the driveway and I'd look out and there would be Ryan and he'd have Amanda with him. And they would just come and hug me and sit and talk and tell me about what was happening in their lives. And that was just such a gift to see a child grow into a young man and find a beautiful young woman. And they roll back through my doorway every once in a while. It's a real, real privilege to know both of you. And I thank you hugely for it. We, in being here, have the responsibility to love and care and support these two wonderful young people through the good and the bad. And I hope that all of you take that responsibility seriously. And when the shit hits the fan, there's only one thing you got to remember to do. Blow bubbles. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Before we do this, no scratching, no pulling here, and guys, agree with me on this part, no ripping off the clothes, okay? So ladies, on three, one, two, I know someone's going to spill a drink, I can feel it, three! And she was the one I thought was going to spill the drink, and she catches the boat and does not spill the drop. But you got yourself a winner there. Oh, there we go. 
Three, 